Hi, I'm Sergeant Zach Eaton with the Sacramento Police Department's Public Information Office. Today we are releasing audio and video files associated with an officer-involved shooting that occurred on Sunday, July 17th in the area of 16th Street and A Street. As always, our department is committed to transparency and all pertinent audio and video files related to this incident will be released within 30 days. This video includes footage from the body-worn cameras of the involved officers. While the body-worn camera provides a perspective of police interactions and furthers our goal of transparency, it is important to note that the camera's view is limited and may not show everything the officers perceived during the incident. The investigation of this incident will include a detailed analysis of the evidence and statements from involved officers and witnesses to determine what they saw, heard, and identified to assure a comprehensive understanding of the incident. The following is a summary of facts known to us at this time. Please note, the following video is graphic in nature. On July 17, 2022, around 10.36 p.m., Sacramento Police Department patrol officers responded to the area of 16th Street and A Street to attempt to arrest a 42-year-old man who was known to have a felony warrant for a violation of post-release community supervision. When officers located that suspect in the area, they attempted to gain his voluntary compliance by talking to him, but he refused to follow the officer's commands. Officers requested additional officers based on the suspect's non-compliance. How you doing, brother? You remember me? Hey, we got to talk to you real quick about something. Um, do you mind putting your stuff down on the ground real quick? Appreciate it. Remember the last time you were like cuff up? I just need to put some cuffs on you real quick. Why? I'll, I'll tell you when in a sec, all right? For what? I'll let you know in a sec. I ain't getting it, I just got it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm not cuffing up. I'm not cuffing up. Okay. Okay. Well, we, we, we have to talk about something, okay? And, and, would you want, and, would you and I'm walk telling with us you. to our car and then we can. Okay. Why, why is that? What's going on? Can you talk to me? I've been here all day. I've been at the park. Okay. If there was an issue, y'all would have came up here a long time ago. Okay. Well, well, we need to talk to you about something. And, and, I, and I'm being like being reasonable with you. Uh, we, we have to we have to talk about something regarding your PRCS status. Why would you pull over a car and then come up here? I didn't pull over a car. You guys did pull over a car, then you guys came up here. I watched you guys. No, no car. Pulled over. Hello. Please let's just make this effortless. You okay? stay here? I don't want to I don't want this to escalate at all. Alright. Are, are you aware that you might have a small warrant? Are you aware that it's in the middle of the night? It doesn't matter. Okay. Are you aware that there are officers and they're asking you questions? Ma'am, I appreciate it. Can but, you please um, stand back? Oh, so all you guys are together? No, Could she's you? not with us. Yeah, it's me. What? What's up? That what? Have a nice day, sir. I'll do this. Come on. I'm being honest. Yeah. Okay, so. Come on. What's happening? As officers continued to talk to the suspect, he walked away from officers, reached under a tarp, and concealed his hands under a blanket. While his hands were concealed, he began to advance towards officers, telling them to drop their weapons. Officers backed up as the suspect continued to walk towards them while ignoring commands. As the suspect approached the officers, one of them fired their duty weapon, striking the suspect. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Do not. Do not. The taser. What are you doing? I'm asking you. Can you please leave the Stop. Stop. Stop walking. Lay your weapons down, sir. Put your hands out. This is a federal Stop. officer. Put Stop. your hands up. No. Do not Stop. do that. Stop! Stop! The suspect then fled from officers on foot. Officers were able to take the suspect into custody in the area of 16th Street and C Street 
where they rendered emergency medical aid. I don't, I don't have a fucking weapon. Oh, stop! I don't have no fucking weapon. I don't care. You know that. Yeah, on the ground. Yeah, on the ground. Yeah, stop. On the ground. That's the yeah, shit on. How am I supposed to know that? That's the fucking shit I'm talking about, man. That's why. I didn't Come here. I didn't now. Have now. I'm scared. That's what I'm, I'm sorry. Get on the ground. I'm sorry that you're scared. You did it on purpose. No. You're holding some shit up that looks like a gun. Let me help you. Let me help you. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. It's okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you. I don't. Let me help you. Let me help you. Relax. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. I'm not saying you did. Okay. Relax. I'm sorry. Okay, you have a warrant. You have a warrant. Okay. Stop walking. Please. This is inevitable. He's not armed. He's not armed. Not armed. Stop walking. Relax. Relax. On the ground. On the ground. Relax. Relax. Listen to me. Listen. Hold on, calm down, calm down. Relax. Okay. You guys don't understand it. I didn't do nothing. I haven't used nothing. Okay. Take a deep breath. Just get your med kit. He's got, he's got a hit right here in the back. The suspect sustained non-life-threatening injuries and was transported to an area hospital by the Sacramento Fire Department. After receiving medical clearance, the suspect was booked for his felony warrant and resisting arrest. No officers were injured during the incident. No weapons were located in the immediate area of the incident. This incident is being investigated by the Sacramento Police Department's Homicide Unit, Internal Affairs Division, and Professional Standards Unit. A response and investigation into the incident will also be conducted by the Force Investigation Team. The investigation will focus on policy, tactics, and training as it relates to the use of force. The Office of Public Safety, Accountability, and the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office are providing oversight by monitoring the investigation. This incident falls under the City Council's policy on police use of force as well as Senate Bill 1421. As a result, the video and audio associated with this incident will be released to the public within 30 days. Detectives are in the process of identifying and retrieving video associated with this incident. If you have any information related to this incident, please contact the Sacramento Police Department. Thank you.